हाय एल इन अवर टोरपोज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन इंस्टरमेटिक पार्ट वन वीडियो वी हैव गॉन थ्रो वाट इज टोरपोज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन इंस्टरमेटिक एंड वाट आर द टाइप्स दैट वी हैव लाइक नॉर्मल एंड अदर टाइप्स टारगेट पोस्ट लोड टारगेट फ्री लोड सोर्स पोस्ट लोड एंड सोर्स फ्री लोड दीज आर द टाइप्स दैट वी हैव वेरीफाइड एंड करंटली वी आर सींग ए प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल एंड नॉर्मल टोरपोज टाइप ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन part of this uh, we have created a mapping uh, this is a mapping that we created with a single uh, input and a extrapolator that takes that input part of the source input that we are seeing from the source the extrapolator takes those as an input and it is a connected source to the transformation and it has the same value as an output and that output we are storing into a simple uh, target table this is the mapping that we created now we are creating a session for this in a real video only we created a session but uh, somehow uh, i am starting that from the beginning before that i am taking the connections relational database connections here here if you see we do not have any connections i am taking the connections as microsoft sql server and the new connection name is source and the database name is uh, i am giving my database name as well as a password the database name is uh, Giving the database name and the server name I'm giving here. Uh, that's it. I'm saving the connection, and I'm taking another connection for the target database. Uh, the name name as target. So our target table there in is available in our target database. And this is the server name. It's done. Now I'm creating a session task. So in task developer task create a session. I'm giving the session name as s underscore. It's a simple name naming convention. And underscore normal underscore sp. I'm associating this session to m underscore normal underscore sp mapping. It's done. and i'm setting the connections in this mapping uh going to the connections in mapping tab uh, the sp underscore target if connection is pointed to source by default i'm changing it to target and the source is already target uh, pointed to source database that's okay and i'm assigning the source connection value to source and target connection value to the target as well as input connection type is pointed to target i'm changing it to source and come to the memory properties and other properties is everything is okay and this is our source it's pointed to source as well as the target is pointed to target and the input is uh pointed to source yeah we are uh, everything good with this connection properties now i will create a workflow for this in workflow designer in task i'm saving the session in task in workflow create a new workflow i'm giving the name as uh, normal underscore sp and i'm drag dragging the session to our workflow designer and i will link these to using our line task transformation now the connection has been established now here the w_nrsp workflow has been created we can schedule this workflow as well as we can simply run this workflow by right clicking on this and start workflow we can see the progress in our monitor so this s_nrsp has been done successfully we can go to the session log and see the session the uh, load start time here is pending to target instance name it's our target database name it's a requested row cell 2 update row cell 2 and reject row cell 0 nothing but all the rows input two rows has been inserted into our target database 
is the same as load summary and finally we can see complete session load summary as output rows affected rows and after rows both are same means none of the rows got affected we can see the same in our target database in our sql server so before that uh, in our spn sql source database we have two records with our stored procedure whatever the input row that we are passing to the stored procedure from our this table one comma two will be one by one passed to this procedure and the same will be written the return will be captured to our target database means in our target database we will have both values one one and two i am executing this query here one and two means our session card runs successfully if you want we can check it again again i am ranking the database table spans for target now we do not have any records in our target table i am running this sp again so sorry i am running this workflow again here if i run this table here the session ran successfully and workflow also if i run this again we can see two records whatever the source data that we have that got inserted into our target if you want we can check it again i will insert another data tree four five i am inserting so completely this table will have seven records 1 to 1 to 5 1 2 3 4 5 5 complete seven records in our target we have only two records now this target table will contain 1 comma 1 and 2 and another these seven totally nine records i am running this workflow again so again the workflow ran successfully at this particular point of time 24 12 24 12 24 in the target database sorry in our target database we can see nine records these are the earlier uh, workflow uh, inserted records and these are the current workflow inserted records nine, seven records totally nine records so this is a normal uh, to be the type where whatever the input records that we are receiving directly Based on the input each and every record, we are applying that input record to our stored procedure transformation and passing that input row. Nothing but we are passing that input row in our stored procedure transformation as well as we are getting the result and passing that to our output transformation. Nothing but our target. So it's a simple connected transformation. If we if we if we don't want to go with the normal transformation, we can normal stored procedure type. We can go with other stored procedure type. Pre source load, post source load, uh, pre target load and post target load. we can also go with that by using the call text attribute property we will see those properties and usage of those property values nothing but whatever the source procedure types that we discussed target source target post load and source preload source post load and target preload we will discuss those in our uh, next video thank you